And Saturday was a big day for CMU baseball as they look to punch their ticket to the NCAA Super Regional with a win, but a loss would have them squaring off against St. Edwards for a third time. Now, despite the game taking place in Junction, the Mavs were the road team and led off here in the first. And let's check this out. Robert Sherrard, he wastes no time slapping a single in the left field. And then the Mavs will break out some small ball with this beaut of a bunt here by Julian Boyd to move the runner over to second. And now the Mavs are cooking with grease as Conrad Villafuerte steps to the plate. Before he could take a swing, Sherrard is off and running for third base, and he just gets his hands in there before the throw. And then a weak liner over shortstop. Philo Fuerte plates the Mavs' first run of the game. Now, they would get a walk by Stevenson Reynolds, but that would not result in any more runs after this fly out to left field for the third out. Now to the bottom half, where Canyon Handy toes the rubber, and he would find himself in some trouble in the first after a single and then a walk. Two runners on, but third baseman Caleb Thompson would have something to say about that. Check out this turn right here. Fields the ball, steps on third, across the diamond. That's two outs. Out of the inning, crowd's loving it, as you can see. Now we're in the bottom of the third inning. St. Edwards decides to finally get the offense up and running. Trevor Seaback gets things started with a single right here. But then, with two outs, first baseman Lance Littles at the plate, and he gives this baseball a ride off the wall in the left center field gap. Villafuerte plays it off the bounce, relays it to the cutoff man. It looks like we got a play at the plate here, folks, but the throw is up the line. We got a brand new ball game all tied up at one, but the Hilltoppers, they're not done yet. That's another ball crushed to left field that just barely stays in the yard. Great effort there by the left fielder, but that's a triple. The Mavs are down two to one, and they would not have a response in the bottom of the fourth inning, and things are starting to look dire here after this stolen base. You got an errant throw that turns into a Two bases on one pitch with the air, and now we got a runner on third with no outs. Now to the controversy of the game. We got a hard ground ball here to shortstop, and he's coming home to get the base runner. Looks like we got a pickle between home and third. The catcher's chasing him down. He leaves his feet, and he's safe. Everyone was shocked, but after a lengthy discussion, he is called out. Now, the St. Edwards would get one more run here but not before Declan Wisner says enough's enough hangs that would be base runner out to dry after four at the Mavs. They're down three to one, but you still got five innings left. You play all nine for a reason, folks, because the Mavs, they put up four runs in the eighth, and they would secure the W, and now they had to wait all day today because CMU would play the winner of St. Uh, Angelo State and UT Tyler that series. The rubber match kicked off at 2 p.m. today, and we have a final score and folks, this game came down to the wire. UT Tyler was leading all day until the seventh inning where Angelo State cashed in on a big inning. They scored four runs on three hits, and there was a costly error by the Patriots who would attempt to come back, but they only managed one run in the eighth inning. And with that, that means Angelo State wins the series and advance to the Super Regionals. And that means the Mavs will be heading on down to San Angelo, Texas for their Super Regional. That game will take place on Friday and Saturday of next week.